Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a topic which is still relatively popular in the uh, the conspiracy world, but I do feel like it's taken a bit of a back seat recently, um, among other topics. Uh, this is something we used to discuss at length and all the time uh, when I when I first started with my channel. It's one of the major things that kind of brought me to it, but it's all about the orbs that people see in the sky. These. Uh, these strange balls of light that kind of move independently to the stars, kind of swim through the air like a tadpole or a fish almost, um, and sometimes fly in clusters together or exhibit bizarre properties like uh, dimming and fading and coming in and out of existence and kind of dancing in time and sync with other balls of light around it. Some people have claimed they've seen these balls of light being responsible for creating things like crop circles. Um, they seem harmless, relatively. They don't seem to do anything other than just simply exist and hover in the air. But this phenomenon of seeing lights in the sky, it, it just cannot be ignored. Because um, I think everyone in their entire life on this earth at some point has probably seen these things, you know. I can't imagine there's somebody out there who hasn't once just looked up at the night sky and seen this. Um, and obviously there's loads of excuses for what's going on in the night sky, you know. The mainstream understanding would say something like, oh, well, you're just watching a satellite flow through the atmosphere and the light reflecting off it. That's all it is. It's nothing else. Um, you know, it's space debris or, oh, you must have seen a shooting star or something like that. Just some instant demissive, sorry, dismissive type of... Um, an excuse for why these orbs of light are flying around in the sky. Because at a quick glance, you would think, oh, it's just a star. And you know, it's, that star's moving. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you know? But if you do observe these things closely, properly, you'll notice that they don't move in a straight, in a, in a straight line, you know, like uh, you'd expect space debris to going in really super speeds around the earth, you know? It's not actually moving that fast either. It seems to be sauntering through the air. That's the good way to describe it. It, it swims from like left to right, left to right, like a, like a fish would swim through water, you know? It's going straight, but has like a sway to it as it does it. It's, it's not behaving like like dumb matter would. It seems to be behaving like a creature that's alive. And this is the point of it all, because you can watch these things make sudden right angle turns, and suddenly start going another direction, out of nowhere, and then fade out of existence as quickly as they came into existence, you know? And you don't see them like whip across the sky like a shooting star would, as it's described, or, you know, falling debris into the atmosphere, as people say. It just doesn't behave like something like that. It's going too slow. It's too, um, it's too precise with its movements, and, and there's a consciousness behind it, which is obvious to anybody who's actually observed these things. And I, I don't know what to make of them. I really don't, because UFO footage is tenuous at best. It's not that great. <laughs> you know, people, people's phones are not designed to get low light footage. So what we do capture is vague and and can easily just be brushed off as fake or nonsense or just a smudge on the screen. Unfortunately, it can easily be seen that way. You know, and if, if you look at the concept of, um, of a star, you know, what are stars? We're told they're suns that are billions of miles away, aren't we, of, of separate solar systems, you know? Um, and the light has traveled from vast distances over great periods of time, and we're witnessing how they would have looked millions of years ago because that's how long it took for the light to reach our eyes and so forth and whatever and then people get these videos where they zoom in with a with a with this particular camera and they get a, a glimpse of what this, this would look like you know this this image this footage of this star and it looks like something really psychedelic you know something strange to observe something not quite normal you know it doesn't look like a star as we've been described it looks like this this uniquely shaped electric ball of light. But the issue is with these cameras, I don't think a lot of people realise this, who maybe not be proficient with cameras, is that um, 
that ball of light that you're seeing making all these movements and these strange flickers may not actually be shaped like you're seeing on the camera. It's the camera's issue of not being fully in focus that's creating that effect. And I don't think a lot of people realize that when you get distances like that, the lens may not be able to actually focus on it, um, especially in quite a small lens. And it's all about how much light they can let in. And it's, um, I think people get confused with what they're actually looking at with those, those videos. So personally, I'm not actually uh, so keen on observing those videos and holding that much weight to them, you know? Sorry, someone just decided to walk right behind my car as I was reversing there, of course. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not too keen on holding too much weight to those those videos. It's too important in the grand overarching scheme of uh, what those stars actually are. But I don't believe stars are necessarily what they're told us they are. So that is to say that I don't disagree with the, the, the spirit behind the footage, you know. <laughs> the attitude behind why they took the footage. I just don't think the footage is very good at actually justifying what they're looking at through there. And this is, if we want to say, you know, talk about stars, there's this idea, isn't it, that there are these things called wandering stars in the Bible, um, angels that kind of left their first estate and refused to follow the order that they were, they were given. You know, and these wandering stars we call planets today. So, uh, but could it also be a reference to these floating things in the sky people witness that look very similar to stars, you know? Perhaps, perhaps that's what they were talking about. Perhaps that's what they actually mean. Uh, I don't know, because I think the ancient sky was very different to a sky that we had today. So it looks like someone's blocked the road with a, a excavator of some kind. It gives me more time to talk to you guys. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, wandering stars, shooting stars, uh, these stars, star-like orbs in the sky that are swimming around. You know that look, and, and you look at these, and these ones actually do seem incredibly high up. They're not actually necessarily with the clouds. These particular ones, it does seem like they're swimming in in the with the with the rest of them. You know, with all the rest of the points of light in the sky, let's call them. But then you get these orbs that have been seen all around the Earth by people at very low levels, and these are orange orbs. So these ones are actually very different from the ones seen in the, high up in the night sky swimming around. These ones appear to be very low, very fiery in nature, erratic with the way the, the, the ball of light kind of exists. Um, and they seem to float around above places quite low down. Um, and these are ones that could easily be dismissed and many have been as, oh, Chinese lanterns, you know, the New Year's lanterns, nothing special, just uh, maybe little balloons perhaps that have just reflected the light in a funny way or something. Um, these ones have been dismissed by most people who don't want to believe in that kind of stuff as, as simply as that, you know. Um, but you look at them and these things are terrifying even more so because they're just there. They're just floating above, right above your head, you know. <laughs> and, and they don't seem to follow the rules of physics as we know it. They seem to be outside of, of, of normal reality in the way light should behave. And I speak from experience with this one. So I actually saw these things with my own eyes when I lived in Lincoln years ago. And what I was doing, I was I was walking home at night on my own uh, through the through the city of Lincoln in like the suburb village area around a bunch of terrace houses. And um, just walking home one night down this road that I've, I've known forever, you know. Um, and I just noticed there's some lights in the sky right in front of me. There must be. 50 meters away, if that, not that far at all. And they're just above this house, like these row of, of terraced houses. And I look around, the first thing I do is look around and no one's there, not a single person in sight. It's like three three in the morning, you know what I mean? It's it's late, It's <laughs> no one's anywhere doing anything, everyone's in bed, you know? But it, here's me wandering around, you know, I I'd had, a, I'd had a night out at someone else's house and uh, I was having a late one, just walking home. I wasn't under the influence of anything, I don't think so. I was, I was pretty sound of mind. I was just walking home, you know. And then looking above, right in front of me, these orange lights man manifesting just above this house. And I, I don't know what to make of them at first. I'm observing them and I'm like, where are they coming from? Exactly. And there was no sound. It was silent. Like, absolutely silent. 
and I was just looking at these 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 orange this this is like a cluster of maybe 30 orange balls of light all just floating from one side of my vision to the other from left to right but it's as though they were appearing out of an invisible wall from the left and disappearing as they hit an invisible wall on the right so floating from here going to the wall here and disappearing and there's just like 30 of them moving from side to side repeatedly like a repeated cycle just going and going and going and i couldn't believe my eyes um and by this point i was into this whole ufo stuff you know and and i was really like kind of theorizing on what they could be you know um getting into the spiritual side of it the demonic side of things the alien side of things the interdimensional side of things and to see to suddenly see it actually see it in person and not just on these youtube videos kind of my heart almost failed me through fear you know <laughs> i stopped dead in my tracks looked around no one's there to witness this thing i'm like no one's ever going to believe me i don't even think to get my phone out and record it because i'm just frozen watching this thing and then after about five minutes they just kind of stop they just disappear and these aren't chinese lanterns you know these weren't floating up from the floor coming above the houses and floating off into the sky like they should behave these these were just pure manifestations of, of light that's all I can describe it. A pure manifestation of fire just in the sky. Just there, manifesting out of the ether, out of nothing, you know, just becoming a reality right under my eyes, out of nothing, phasing into reality, should we say. And it was scary. Like, yeah, I was terrified of this. And it reminded me of the phenomena seen of the, the Phoenix lights, which was like a row of orange lights above, above Phoenix, you know what I mean? And that was recorded from the mountains and things like that. Doing this and it was witnessed by thousands of people and it was something like that except they were just kind of behaving in such a weird mechanical way but but made of just pure light and I, can, I can't explain it i cannot explain it to this day what i was looking at but i know i saw it i know it was it was real so what are we dealing with here is is this is this manifestations of of the demonic coming into our realm because i understand you know demons in um, or the jinn in islamic understandings of them describe them as a smokeless fire which is the only way i could describe these orange lights i saw and uh, there was no mass to them there was no it wasn't like a person who was on fire floating in the sky or something or a ball that was on fire float. it was just pure floating fire <laughs> that emitted this a glow this radiant glow you know and i theorized it myself you know at the time am i looking at, at, a, at an entity that is trying to manifest into the physical vision that i'm capable of seeing but all we see are these flickers of light and that's not its true form that's just all we can perceive with our with our abilities our our eyes capabilities our our vision's ability to to perceive stuff like this literally all we all we're capable of actually seeing of the manifestation is just light but what the thing actually looks like is psychedelic and huge and trippy and weird you know maybe that's what was going on i don't i don't know what it was um i don't think they were spacecrafts they weren't they weren't crafts you know what i mean they weren't things that people you know people fly were flying they weren't made of like metal or anything like that um i, I they were, they just, it was just the strangest thing I've ever seen and I cannot explain to this day what it was exactly I was witnessing there. And all I know is it, it was real. <laughs> you know, it was it was so bizarre and it made it definitely made me question just the nature of reality during that time. It was one of the many events in my life that has led me to my own faith in God, you know, in Jesus and all that kind of stuff being real. Because you see one too many of these type of things and eventually you've got to start asking questions, you know, like what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, it's not what I, it's not what it seems, you know, life is not what it seems. And, and there's nothing like an experience of seeing glowing orbs in the sky to make you think such a thing. Uh, so you tell me, have you seen these things? Do you remember the, the crazy obsession over these lights in the sky um, back in the day? Accompanied with, you know, crazy sounds as well. 
Another strange manifestation I once saw is um, I was looking across the, a field um, just opposite my house, and way off in the in kind of in the distance, it, it was lighting up as though a lightning storm was happening, and it was flashing purple and blue and colours. Just the sky was just illuminating with light, flashing and popping off in the distance, and I stood there and watched this happen for ten minutes, and not once while I was anticipating it did I hear the thunder. No thunder, no noise. This was not lightning. This was literal, insane, glitching light, lighting up the, the night sky epically. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this wasn't some city waving around a couple of spotlights or something in the distance. There was no city in that direction. I know the land, you know. And there's, there's no light powerful enough <laughs> that we've created on, on the ground to create such an effect. I'm sorry. What I was witnessing was the power of lightning, but with no sound. That was a strange one, you know, and that, that's kind of in a similar vein to this, these orbs, you know, these strange manifestations of light. Um, we all remember the Norway spiral, a strange blue spiral that happened above Norway that kind of turned into a circle and expanded. Um, all the videos of the past, you know, kind of show the same thing. I, I think what we are probably witnessing in a spiritual sense, if I was to use the biblical lens for this, is manifestations of um, perhaps spiritual entities such as Nephilim or the Nephil or you know the the the, the genetically engineered humans with the disembodied spirits of these things trying to manifest physically, and they can use our our attention to do so, kind of like a quantum physics type rule. It manifests because we see it, and the more we put our attention towards it, the more they can manifest. Something like that was going on, and the obsession and fear over UFOs during that time period just made it happen quite a lot. I don't know. Um, or perhaps is it perhaps literally manifestations of angels, fallen angels who are still here on Earth, following Lucifer's plan, the ones that didn't get locked up because they had sex with human women, the ones that are still free to do their thing. Um, who knows? You know, who knows? Because uh, not only balls of light get seen, but shape-shifting objects get seen up there as well. Cigar-shaped things, metallic balls of blob, globule-type things that move and turn and twist, and you know, there's there's all sorts of bizarre things that end up appearing in the sky that don't follow the laws of physics as we know it. You know, they don't follow the natural law of how objects should behave as we understand it. It's almost as though our eyes are just struggling to comprehend the thing in front of us, so it looks like a, a, a gelatinous mess of light and metal, you know? Um, I think there's a lot of that. Uh, our limited perception, perceptional capabilities are involved with why these things look the way they do. Perhaps if we could see that realm that they're in, we'd actually see what the true thing looks like, and I think we would be terrified if we actually saw them. Um, I don't know, but guys, we cannot we cannot forget this one because um, it's still happening I'm sure every now and then since that encounter I have looked up at the night sky it's a lot rarer these days that I find time to do it but I do just look up and occasionally I will see a white light appear and swim across the sky um, almost like a fish so it's still happening it never went away and you know we cannot deny that there is an agenda at play probably to unleash some kind of fake alien invasion at some point and I wouldn't be surprised if these orbs of light played some kind of role in this in this show that's to come um, and perhaps it is all just as simple as testing out little um, testing out the giant LCD screen they've been working on up there to project this fake holographic invasion maybe these little lights are just little tests just little tests, you know. The, just put it into the computer system. Can we make a ball of light appear here? Okay, now can we make it move from east to west? You know, just little simple tests to see if they can project a convincing thing in the sky. Maybe that's all we're seeing with these these lights, these these balls of light, and these orbs. Maybe it's focused energy of particular metal particles they put into the atmosphere, manifesting together, and and then blowing up. You know what I mean? To create these balls of light. Who knows? Who honestly knows what is going on? All we know is that they are there. 
what they are and why, we haven't got a clue. We have so many theories and we can all sit here and guess and speculate, and that's fun to do so. And I'd like to hear your speculations in the comments of what you think is going on with these things as well. And do not tell me that just the lights flashing on an aeroplane's wing. That's not what these are. We're not talking about them. We know the difference, okay? <laughs> these are something else, okay? Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, I did have more videos planned this week. Um, more high quality videos with images you know and research and stuff like that for my clown series but if you haven't heard on my live show yesterday my laptop which had everything on it is dead the hard drive has just decided to go frazzled on me and that's it I have nothing I've lost it all so while I while I basically scramble to try and find a replacement laptop so I can carry on with my work and then the time I'm gonna have to spend getting all the images back that I, I had <laughs> acquired over six years worth of work um, I'm not gonna be able to produce any videos like I normally would um, so I'm gonna have to do a lot more of these type of videos until I can find a solution to fix that issue um, but yeah so that's where I'm at but uh, thanks for listening guys let me know what you think of the orbs down below in the comments um, and as always God bless